Greetings everyone and welcome back to another installment in the Tacky Tablet series, a series in which I take a look at tablets that actually this doesn't even qualify as a tablet to be fairly honest. This is too small to be a tablet, but it's called a tablet, so let's just call it a tablet for the whole sake of it. What I am preparing myself for today is one of possibly the worst experiences I've had with a device that runs Android. The device that I'm going to be showing you today is intended for kids specifically ages five and under. And this tablet was sold in 2015 and was once on sale for 15 whole dollars from the good guys at one point in time, which means they sold extremely well. And by well, I've never seen another one in my entire life. I paid $25 for this tablet, $25 more than what I should have paid for this thing. It was at my local flea market and they had $40 on it. I was able to power it on while I was out there and seen that it actually ran Android and my curiosity peaked on just how good this thing would be. So before I jump into that tablet, I'll just remind everyone now that there's timestamps in this video so you can skip along to wherever you need to be because I have no idea how chaotic this video is gonna be. It is gonna be likely all over the place. So feel free to use those timestamps if you need to, to skip to wherever you would like in the video. For example, when I'm tearing this thing down and possibly questioning my existence, um, then feel free to skip to that if you need to. Let's all go back to 2015. Pretend you're a parent. You've got a kid and they're saying, hey, I want to watch some superhero movie on my little tablet while you're doing other important things. You would have this. This is a tablet. When I think of tablet, I think of a device that has a screen larger than seven inches. This, on the other hand, has a screen size of 4.3 inches. I know it's meant for kids ages five and under, but even for them, this thing is absolutely ridiculously small. You've got to think in 2015 as well, there was quite a lot of decent smartphones on the market that parents likely would have had. So they most likely would have given their phone to their kid to just play around with. So like here's an HTC M7 and you know, it's just a bit silly as to why this thing would exist. Because the specs of this thing, as far as I can tell, are absolutely bottom of the barrel. Also, as far as I know, they made a frozen version of this tablet as well. And they also made another thing for this specific tablet, and that is an upgrade kit. You can upgrade this to have an Avengers theme, because the whole point of this tablet is the whole Avengers thing printed on the back of it. Marvel Avengers Assemble, so you would buy said upgrade kit, which comes with a micro SD card that you stick into there and it immediately turns it into an Avengers tablet. So exciting for your kid to go, hey, look, I have an Avengers tablet. Yeah, hey, look, yeah, I'm part of the Avengers. Yeah, Hulk mode, wee. Um, something like that. <laughs> But while we're on the subject of uh, the gorgeous plastic back that has Marvel Avengers Assemble on it with Marvel down there, the fact that it's actually legit Marvel as well is kind of very questionable, but we have a tiny little camera just up there and speaker and that's basically it. We have a power button, a volume rocker, micro SD card slot, it's exciting, micro USB, headphone jack, microphone, and then around the tablet, basically nothing else. And if you've also noticed, apart from the scratches and all the fingerprints on the screen, there is no front camera. I don't know, do kids usually put the camera on and go, look, well, I'm taking several photos of everything. I don't know, if I was five years old and I had a camera on the front of a device, I'd probably be like, oh, this thing's cool and poking several faces at the thing. The entire thing is made of plastic. So that's why this thing is completely all scratched up. So I apologize for the scratches that you were gonna see on the screen throughout this whole entire video. I can't do much about it. And also I tried to do some research for this video. And apart from finding the price, the upgrade kit, I basically found nothing else about this thing. So now that I've filled you in for the last 10 minutes about this tablet, let's go ahead and finally power this on and see if if this tablet is good for a five-year-old? The answer is a definite no straight away because I've already done the camera test and my God, that was absolutely painful to do. Since doing my micro SD card video, which I'll cut up the top if you haven't seen that, I'm gonna use a 64 gig micro SD card to expand the storage. Guess how much internal storage is in this thing, by the way? Not a whole lot. At this point, I don't even know what CPU is in this thing. It's all complete news to me. Okay, without further ado, let me torture myself with the, can't remember the name of it, Camellio by Vivitar, Android family tablet. They call it a family tablet. <laughs> and it's this, um, but Camellio by Vivitar. Vivitar is a cheapo brand that I've seen here in Australia, but Camellio 
It's the trademark Android family tablet. You know it's good. Family tablet. Oh yeah, I'll just go onto eBay and browse on this when I could just use my phone that would probably have the same size screen as this. An iPhone 5 had a four inch display, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm trying to work out where in this world this thing sits, but I have it in front of me. Also, the angles of this display are extremely terrible. So I have this just at a slight angle and I cannot see anything on the display. If I do this, I can see what's on the display. Can't see anything now. Also, just just wait, it's, it's loading as well. This is the extreme powerhouse kicking in right now. Yeah, multiple angles, pretty terrible. Especially when I took this outside and was taking photos, I couldn't see anything on the display. So uh, I'll do my best to try and show <laughs> everything that's going on here as best as I can. But let's set this thing up. We'll connect it to Wi-Fi. It does have an accelerometer, but I have to set it up in landscape mode. If you can already tell by the interface, this is running Android 4.3. And I've also dumped the system files from this thing and put them in the description below. So feel free to peruse through that and see what you find. So have fun with that. Oh, there's a license agreement. Uh, it's a contract between you and Saka International. <laughs> or Saka. Saka? <laughs> Saka International. Ah, uh, yeah, you are a sucker if you did buy this thing for your kids. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Saka International 2014. So about right with the dates. It did say 2015 it was on special, but probably 2014 this was introduced. But I'll agree to all of that. Set up parental controls to protect your children and have full control of what your child can access on this device. We'll actually trigger that mode later on. And just like that, we've booted up. I was gonna say, I factory reset this thing, but it's just got my photos that are on my micro SD card that are displaying there, so just ignore my ugly mug. You can count the pixels if you'd like to. Feel free to pause and start counting them. I did see online someone wrote the screen resolution, but I won't spoil it. All I know is that it's pretty low res. Booting up, we have a fun little UI. We have theme selector, add app, and then we have games and add app there and friends and tools and how to remove apps, user manual. Oh, there's a user manual on this thing. Oh, it's just a Google Doc, isn't it? Disney Android family tablet with Google. Yep, that's it. Hang on. It's loading a Google Doc and Marvel Android. Okay, forget it. Maybe it's fine now. There we go. There it is, user manual. Oh, it has multi-touch too. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Activating your Disney Marvel tablet. About your Vivitar Disney Marvel tablet. It's a unique pocket-sized and portable Android tablet. You can customize your wallpaper widgets, capture videos and photos, and use the photo editor to edit and share your images. Your tablet also includes a bumper case. In addition, you have access via the Google Play Store to the world's largest ebook store and thousands of apps and games. Equipped with all of the features parents have come to expect from a family tablet, built-in Wi-Fi, camera, video, touchscreen, and parental control, the Vivitar Disney or Marvel tablet is the ultimate in functionality and fun for the entire family. Just take that in. Take, take all of that in. It did show the specs. I'm not going to show them. It didn't show the CPU, but it did confirm the screen resolution of this thing. So I'll just leave that for now. Yeah, you've got that little fun user interface there. And if you swipe along, there's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And since this is Android 4.3, you swipe up from the bottom to have the parental control, the time, 95% of battery life. I don't even know what the battery capacity is in this, but I can tell you it's not that big. I think during the camera test, it went down like 50%. So if that gives you any ideas there, let's actually just do the parental control. Slide the big red button. A Google account is required in order to use a parental control. I'll have to come back to that then because I want to sign into my Gmail on this. We also have a little editing thing, camera applications, contacts, and the parental controls. So if I go to the apps, it might be easier if I do it this way. There we go. It works. See? So we have Adobe Reader, Aldeco, which is an ebook reader, APK Manager, Browser, Calculator, Calendar, Clock, Downloads, Email, Gallery, Gmail, Google, Google Settings, Maps, Me Genius, whatever that is, Music, MyPad, News and Weather, Parental Controls, People, Play Store Settings, Sound Recorder, Theme, Camera, Theme, Contacts, Theme, Photos, Video Play, and Voice Search. We have a lot to test on this thing, don't we? Um, I'm going to go straight to Settings. So we have Wi-Fi. We have Ethernet Configuration. Not that it does anything, but it's probably a repurposed motherboard from one of those really cheap tablets that do have an ethernet port on them, possibly, just a guess. More wireless networks, we've got airplane mode and VPN, nothing to take a look at there. In sounds, the default notification sound is pixie dust, touch sounds and screen lock sound. No enhancements. I wonder what processor is in this thing then. Display, wallpaper. Let's go to wallpapers. Oh boy, okay, so it's just the stock ones. Stock, 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 stock. 
stock, stock. Just to also give you an idea of the colors as well, I'll just set that as the wallpaper. I'll just go for a bit of a close up. There you go. The display is just incredibly washed out. The colors are just so dull. Once again, it's intended for a kid, so I'm sure they're not going to really complain and say, hey, mum or dad, the colors are shit on this thing. I can't watch Thomas the Tank Engine on this. Storage, we have a whole four gigabytes of internal storage, and my SD card comes up as 64 gigabytes. I'm using the Hitch the C 64 gig Halloween spooky micro SD card in this. Coming into battery, it says that Wi-Fi is taking up 47% of the battery, and we're at 92%. I fully charged this up before this review. It's been on for 11 minutes, and it's already at 92%. This is gonna be fun. Applications-wise, we have Ac Cali, whatever you are, and Tutu's on here by default, okay. APK manager, auto test, something that I'll have to open quick shortcut maker to, stuff around with these things. Uh, a G sensor calibration tool, fuse location, that's probably on usual stuff. Uh, just trying to see if I can see anything that might tell me what processor is in this. It's probably Spreadroom. Most likely, shell. System update, talkbacks here, Jellybean, yep, that's confirmed. Oh, some dodgy Chinese apps that say something there. We'll have to open up Quick Shortcut Maker and play around with them later on. Uh, location, security, obviously there's no face unlock or fingerprint or anything like that, but you can do pins and passwords and stuff like that if you wanted to. I'll do unknown sources. Now in accounts, there's actually theme manager as the account. Not that you can do anything with it though, because this uses Wi-Fi to get the themes and stuff onto this thing. So we're gonna try that. I'll add my Gmail account. So then I have access to the Play Store. Oh, I've just realized I'm using it upside down too, by the way. There we go, because, you know, camera's at the top there. I was using the camera. Don't worry, it's fine. I have signed into a Google account, and just by signing into a Google account, the device is overheating. It is extremely hot up the top here, especially right around the Avengers logo. Maybe that's a built-in feature. It's you know, radiating energy or something. In accessibility, you do have talkback. You can use this if you need an accessible device. I'm sure you wouldn't want to use this as an accessible device, but hey, it's there if you need it. And about tablet, we've got system updates. Be hilarious if there was just one that's like lonely on a server saying, oh yeah, yep, I'll update. It won't, but it'd be funny. Uh, last check updating time. We're up to date. Don't auto check system udpat. <laughs> Okay, that's fair. Oh, there's a little checkbox there. I didn't even see that. I couldn't even see it. I'm looking at this thing through the viewfinder. Status? We have a Unix serial number and a product ID. That might help me identify this tablet. The model number is Camellio Family Tablet, Android version 4.3. Um, what's the Easter egg? I don't remember what you do in Jelly Bean. Is it where you throw the Jelly Beans around? Yes, it is. Hey, that doesn't run too bad. That's okay. I'll... I'll say that works fine. Then we have kernel version and we have the build number there, which both say 2014 there. Let's start with theme selector. Add. And it crashed. Add. And it crashed again. When I did initially play around with this, it said connect to Wi-Fi to be able to download more themes. I have a feeling the service has been stopped most likely. Okay, if we go to add application, there it all is there. Maybe there might be a hidden app or something like that. Games, there's nothing there. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Add or remove apps. Apps. Games. Okay. Uh, let's do the parental control thing. Let's be absolutely immature. Okay, perfect. One, two, three, four, because that's legit. Butt fart, done. There was a problem with communicating with the Google servers. Try again later. Since this thing is almost 10 versions behind the latest version of Android, I'm probably not going to get far with any of the Google services or something like that. But I really wanted to try the theme selector, but it just crashes. I would have loved to have seen the Frozen theme or the Marvel theme or something like that, but perhaps you have to have the upgrade kit with the micro SD card that specifically switches it into the Avengers mode. But the user manual did say you can do it. Once you have completed the initial setup, you now need to... I can't scroll along there. To download and activate the same Disney Marvel theme that is shown on your app card. So I need the app card that it didn't come with. Now that I have failed to show you the themes on this, which would have been hilarious, I'm gonna open up this photo editing tool. And let's just use this picture of me to do some fun things. Auto enhance. I don't think it did anything. Crop. Nope, don't wanna crop it. Rotate. Wee. Oh, I can put frames. Yay, 
Customization. Hooray. Look how exciting this is. Oh, there you go. That's cheeky. What does the pin thing do? Oh, go. Oh, make the beer mug smaller. There you go. Put the thumbs up there too. There you go. Kids are going to definitely have fun with this. Oh. Get the like and subscribe button. This is looking like a thumbnail from a 3am YouTuber. I miss you. Oh, yep. Yeah. Remember Jay Station and his little stunt that he pulled? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I'll add some flowers too to make it pretty. Masterpiece. And then you can share that via Facebook, photo, bugger, Twitter, email, Picasso, and Flickr. That's about it that you can do with... Oh, the auto hands does do things. Oh, my God. You can... Oh, <laughs> that's, that's the auto enhance. It just brightens it up. There we go. Perfect. Well, we're on to the camera then. Let's talk about the camera on this thing. Let's just say you want to take a photo. Done. The shutter speed is reasonable for what it is. And in settings, you can have the scene mode to night mode, which doesn't do anything. You can change the exposure as well as the white balance, which I didn't touch. There's also this little mountain up the top, which I thought was like a macro mode, but it doesn't actually do anything. And then if we go to settings, we have the picture quality as super fine. If we change to video, this is where I had many issues with. So if I go to settings, I have a time-lapse interval and white balance. In camera settings, there's nothing to change the quality. It is just stuck as is. While recording, this would just freeze every few seconds and it would be just stuck. So I wasn't too sure if it was still recording or not. I'll just see if it does it again. It's not doing it because it's in a dark area. I have a feeling it was because it was bright and sunny outside. The camera just wasn't quite liking the brightness and making it lag, but uh, it's at a very low resolution. Not that you can see anything that's going on. Uh, you'll see in the camera test anyways, me complaining about why it's freezing every five seconds. So in that regards, I'm going to splice in the photos and videos that I took with the Camellio Vivitar kids android family tablet thing enjoy what you are about to see Testing video quality on the Avengers tablet thing. It took me so long just to get to the camera because it's just so slow. Um, I think it just crashed. I believe it crashed. Oh no, no, it's fine. Oh wait, no, it crashed again. I'll just aim it at things and hope it works. That's probably the best thing to do with this situation. Uh, no autofocus, no manual focus, it is just as basic as you can get. I think it's too bright for the camera. It's struggling. Maybe a little bit darker area might help. Yeah, that helps a little bit. There we go. Any form of stabilization, call that stabilization, then sure, why not? Brick wall, with the bolts, and then down to these two. Just can't see anything on the screen. The screen angles on this are just absolutely garbage. And it just freezes every now and again, but that's okay. It's a kid's tablet, so... Yeah, a kid's not going to wait this long for this to work. The lemon tree, does it have any lemons? Yep, it does. Hello, lemon. Um, here is the alien as well, by the way. Look at that. 
20 bucks from my local market for this and someone handmade it and I think it's just absolutely awesome so this is Zenny the Morph that you'll see in the camera test from now on. I figured right here because of the background stuff I can go straight up for a bit of a detailed look. I won't spend too long on it but yeah it's pretty awesome. And the faraway aircon looks a little something like this, but with a, I would say, four times digital zoom. <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there. Wait. Wait. Oh. There. Hi, Ripley. This is what you look like on the Avengers tablet thing. Here look, now we'll show you brightness. There you go. How does it look? Does it look good? Huh? Okay, you hop in the sink then. Now there's no water in that. I can put it on. That'd be silly. Look at the unlock screen too. Butt fart parent. That's me applying user settings. And we're in. Yay. So the parental controls kind of did work. I might try them again. Uh, you've just seen all the photos and videos that I took with this thing. They are a little bit depressing, but the photos are 640 by 480. So we have a VGA camera on this, 640 by 480 for the videos as well. I've also got to put it down to, it's made for kids. It's not meant to take the highest resolution. If they just want to open up the camera application and take stupid photos of their brother or sister or dog or cat or whatever, and then go to the editing tool and do some silly things, it'll be perfectly fine. But for us experienced, folks who like camera quality it's terrible but for a cheap tablet I guess it will do they could have not put a camera on this or they could have just put like the most terrible one on the front there and called it a day because I've got tablets that are like that but yeah that's pretty much everything to do with the camera not that exciting so let's move on I'm gonna open up parental controls again just to see if it does anything. I might just turn it off for the whole sake of it I thought it may have actually changed the user interface to be very restricted but Maybe not. Okay, let's start opening up applications then. I just want to open up Old Deco. Yep, that's the book reader. Does it come with any included books? Like maybe a Marvel comic or something? Once again, you probably need the app card for that. I've just realized. Might be worth buying one of the upgrade kits on eBay just so I get the app card. Oh, there is. White Fang by Jack London. I mean, as a little ebook reader, okay, I could see this as being pretty good for an ebook reader, you know, just on the train, just reading a book but you could just use your phone for that. But if you've seen this for 15 bucks on sale, then I guess that's not too bad. APK manager. Oh, hello. So you can actually go straight to installed applications and just uninstall it. Oh, okay. It's basically what it says. It's an APK manager. We're at the browser. I can download Chrome onto this, but let's just use the inbuilt browser that just crashed. The browser just crashes. <laughs> oh, it's fine now. Never mind. It's okay. Let's go to Google and type in Camellio. We're getting there. Family tablet. There we go. Okay. Ta-da. Yeah, these are the bigger ones that they offered. If I type in Marvel, there's the, yeah, the customization kits. With powerful Android 4.3 Jelly Bean and 512 Meg RAM, this tablet won't disappoint. Well, I'm sold. Yes, it is. Yeah, the customizer thing's crazy. Um, let me just go on to this random website. Um, okay, there you go. But entrusting a young child with a $400 to $500 tablet is enough to make any parent cringe. Well, yes, it is, but parents still do it anyways, and then they complain why their kid has thrown their phone and smashed it and then yells at them for about three hours. Yeah, that's definitely not the same tablet. You can get a Hello Kitty one. That's amazing. Browser-wise, because it's outdated, the certificates are going to be outdated and stuff. You're not going to get too far with this nowadays. I could see this possibly being usable. I say usable in the very lightest term. 
Like, it'll be fine for the most part, okay? Since this is a family tablet and you were just passing it around to show, oh, look, what's on eBay or something like that, it will be fine. But if you were going to be doing proper browsing, it's not going to be suited for it. I don't know, if you gave this to a kid and they opened up the browser, all hell would ensue anyway. So it's fine for what it is. But touching on the performance aspect of this so far, it is pretty slow. If a kid had this and things don't open up quickly, I'm sure the kid would just want to throw this anyway. So I'll persist with this. I'll try my best. Calculator looks like calculator. It didn't say right at the top. Calendar, clock, downloads, email, gallery, Gmail, Google, maps, me genius. What's me genius? Ooh, another book thing. Library, do you have any books? A never owning bookshelf for your child, all access for five bucks? Welcome to the new me genius. This is a quick tutorial on how to use the new app. Skip. Okay, loading books. I wonder if it'll work. Oh, what's the battery at, at the moment? 71%. Error, no connection. <laughs> okay. I don't think we're going to get too far with this one. Oh, I say that. Got to unlock that. Okay, so let's open up the little red hen. Preparing book for you. Thank you. Oh. The little red hen. Oh. It has voiceover. Red hen found a grain of wheat. Who will help ah. me plant this wheat? He said. I won't, said the dog. I won't. Skip, 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 skip. Well, look, okay, that's pretty good for a kid. But you get three books and you have to pay $5 for all access. What if I do unlock? What does it do? Oh, it's sign in. Okay, fair enough then. Okay, so that's what me genius is. Just got to clear the background applications before it starts to really lag. The speaker didn't sound too bad, so let's try the speaker with BFG Division. This is absolutely as loud as it can go. There we go. It's not total garbage, it's pretty quiet, but I was able to hear the punchiness of the track. Altogether, not too bad. I bet it is just a little tiny like earpiece. Yeah, you can kind of see the speaker grill just inside of there, so it's only gonna be a tiny itty bitty little one. Probably the same ones that are in welcome devices for the most part, but I'll give it a pass. It's not too bad, it will do. I mean, for that me genius thing, it worked pretty good, so I'll give it that. My pad is likely a file manager, that it certainly is. Play Store, uh, we'll come back to settings, sound recorder, theme camera. That just opens up camera, fair enough then. Theme contacts. Oh, you could add contacts and put silly faces and stuff. Okay, that's fine. Video player. I thought I had one of the 4K videos on my micro SD card, but it turns out I don't. So we're not going to get too far without them. Well, let's open up the Play Store and I'll install YouTube and I'll install a game and a couple of other things and we'll see how this thing goes. If it opens up things. Now it's getting extremely slow. I mean, it was already slow beforehand, but now it's just sort of chugging along. I believe the Susan M5 was ever so slightly faster than this. No, this has 512 mega RAM. That had 256. It could be updating, by the way. I just realized that. It did. It just updated. Okay, good. See how slow it is? <laughs> I'm really pushing it now that I just want to update Google Play services. I'm going to have to install all of these applications, which is going to take me quite a long time. Let me do all of this, as painful as it's going to be, and um, we'll be right back. Okay, well, it's been a very painful uh, past hour. I have been able to go onto the Play Store, get YouTube, device info hardware, CPU system info, a quick shortcut maker, all installed. And this thing has come to a grinding halt. 
like things just don't even want to open now. One thing with this tablet also is that it doesn't support Windows 10. I can't just plug it into a Windows 10 PC and it will pop up. I have to plug it into a Windows 7 PC to be able to do side loading of any APKs or anything like that, which caused me a huge headache. In all of this, I have YouTube installed, so we're gonna be able to do the YouTube test, if it even loads, because majority of the stuff just refuses to load and I just don't even know what to do at this point in time. I really wanna throw it, but I, I have patience. I have some patience. Okay, oh, patience is wearing thin. If I type in YouTube on the Play Store on this, it comes up with YouTube Kids, which kind of makes sense, but going through through the browser to open up YouTube on the Play Store to trigger it, it says your device is not compatible with this version. And that kind of just made me go, okay, sure. I've installed YouTube on things like this before, running 4.3, no problems, but okay. I'd also got down to 2% battery life and I had to rescue it with life support. And then I charged it to about 50%. And that's kind of what we're at now. There we go, 40% uh, we're up to, if I go, wait for it i've pressed home we're waiting for it it's okay there we go can you see a kid putting up with this <laughs> youtube isn't responding to you want to close it no wait you can do it buddy wow okay but i don't think it's gonna work though i think it's gonna come up with yeah the network error Android 4.3 is just so outdated, it's not gonna work. Should we do it through the browser then? <laughs> let's let's watch it struggle. I know I'm not gonna get far with doing this test. I just wanna show you video quality on this. Probably would have been easier to just get the file itself and just put it on the SD card and then play it through the video player instead of doing it through YouTube. But isn't the whole thing with like a kid's tablet for them to watch YouTube on it and stuff? I mean, you, as I said, YouTube kids did come up, so I sh shouldn't complain. Just, I'll just agree with it. There we go. Come on. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. It has to be a single core in this. There's no way that it's a dual core. It has to be a single core thing that's... Ugh. Did I break it again? Oh my god, there's video. Whoa, there's video. Oh, it's an ad. Okay. Uh, that didn't help. Not one bit. I shouldn't have pressed back. Oh boy. Usually there's a little settings cog doodad thing at the top corner, but there's nothing, so I guess I'd just pretend that it's good. Oh, there it is. 360p. Should we just watch it struggle already, as it is? Let's do 720p. Also, the thing uh, rebooted a couple of times too, by the way. That happened. Here we go. Wait, what? There's, there's no way that's 720p and it's perfectly fine. Okay, I spoke too soon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's half reasonable. Yeah, look at him go. This is a non-720p, surely. It looks pretty good. I mean, all the colors are washed out and stuff. And once again, you can count the pixels. That's no way that's 720p. This is in the browser. This doesn't happen. Considering how slow it was to actually get to YouTube playing. And it's like, oh, that's no, fine now. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, whoop, whoops. Stay there. Oh, okay. I'll just agree and say whatever happened then just happened. Once again, the tablet is extremely hot. If you are literally just on the main screen and don't do anything else, it's responsive. But you try doing anything else and it just starts to lag something heavy, which Speaking of lagging, got Grand Theft Auto 3 on here, and we are gonna play Grand Theft Auto 3 on this thing. What's the battery life at? 33%. I bet after this, it is gonna be dead. It'll just die. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna play this all at the default settings, so we'll just see how that goes first. And if it turns out that it's super fast, 
then I'll bump it all up to the max settings. But I have a feeling that this thing may spontaneously combust while trying to put it on the highest settings, but we'll see. We'll see if it even loads. Come on, show me the cutscene. Show me the banshee. Oh. 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 There's the banshee. All right. Skip. Okay. I see ya. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, all, all righty. Okay. We're in. Here it is. Um, yep. Yeah. It works. <laughs> oh, it didn't hit the pole. I mean, it's playable. Um, whoop, uh, the, the, the. It's still fine. It's still good. It's still good. We're still good. If you don't mind, uh, the, the, the lag, um, it's, it's pretty good. Okay, there we go. Max settings. Honestly, I just want to know what CPU is in this thing. It can't be media tech. It has to be something else, but it's bottom of the barrel for sure. Why does it seem like it's perfectly fine? Are you sure the settings are on maximum? Yeah, they are. Well, considering the uh, screen resolution being as low as it is, it's actually not too bad. Okay, not too bad as in it runs. If there's nothing on screen, it runs pretty much at like 60 FPS, but anything else on screen, then it starts to, you know, chug a lug and, um, that's basically showcasing the power of this unit. That's Grand Theft Auto 3 on this. I think if it didn't have this whole theme thing, and if it was just perhaps stock Android 4.3, probably wouldn't be as laggy, but that's just an assumption. Let's now finally check the specs, then we can open up Quick Shortcut Maker and see what we can do. So I'll open up Device Info Hardware. The moment of truth, what are we running in this? Oh my God, it's a Zhang Di Camelio family tablet. The resolution of the screen, 480 by 272. That's something, isn't it? The flash size is 64 gig, but that's my micro SD card that it's picking up. The system on chip, what is it? What is that then? <laughs> An iMac? X820 and it's a dual core Mali 400 MP though which we know that system is yeah the manufacturer is Zhang Di the screen refresh rate is 224 hertz <laughs> okay sure thing no worries a uh, high refresh rate on this that makes sense uh, multi-touch probably two point what the f five point I'm gonna do that again Five point multi touch pixels per inch is 160 though. Five point multi touch and 224 hertz refresh rate. Okay, 512 meg, four gig, yep, 0.3 megapixel camera. Battery 2800 milliamp hours. There's no way it's 2800 milliamp hours. Uh, sensors we have an accelerometer and that's about it within this thing. Let's find out what that processor is then. I've got the other system info app 224 hertz. The display. <laughs> The screen is got a higher refresh rate than my screen I use for my main PC. The model is a Cam 430, and yeah, the manufacturer is Zhang Di. Zhang Di, eh? Hey? I'll have to check and see what you're all about. The CPU code is unknown. The CPU manufacturer is ADPK43P. It's at 100% load. That explains everything. Clock speed's at 804 megahertz currently. Dual core, both cores at 100%. Oh, oh, 90%, 97%. Four gig of internal storage, 512 meg of RAM. Screen resolution it says 3.3 inches, but you know, so be it. Uh, what does it say for the refresh rate? Yeah, 224 uh, FPS there. Battery temperature, 30 degrees. Feels hotter than that. And sensors, accelerometer, camera, 0 0.3 megapixels. Not too much to report there. What's the battery life at now? 25%. We're getting there. <laughs> 
I'll charge up for a second time. All right, quick shortcut maker them. Let's see if we can do anything. What is Ak Kelly? STK Ak Kelly for driver 1.60. Please place. <laughs> Calibrate. Fail. <laughs> okay, sure thing. APK manager, auto test. What is auto test? It's gonna test everything, right? It's a pretty good assumption. Oh, okay, it's all in Chinese. I know CPU and GPU, that's something. I'll point my phone at it with Google Translate on. See what it says. Functional testing, quick function test, full function test, white box requirements for R&D testing, performance testing, video playback, stress test for long playback. Oh, that's fun. Let's try this. Do any of them actually do anything? I just press all of them until something happens. Wait, this is the whole Antutu thing, right? Antutu stress test, which doesn't seem to do anything. I guess we just leave that. DMT G sensor calibration, probably the same thing as before. Oh, please keep the device in a horizontal desktop. I'll just leave that. Open WNN. What are you? Oh, it's just the um keyboards. It's got Japanese stuff on here though. Theme manager. Here we go. Let's see if one of these works. Oh, the Vivitar theme has been downloaded. Install. We might be onto something. Download the new Vivitar theme. Upgrade. Vivitar update downloading. Come on, I want to change this into the Avengers theme or Frozen theme or something like that. It'd be really cool. Also, 15% battery life. All right, life support. There you go, buddy. Upgrade theme manager. Here we go. Unable to download theme manager app. Try again. Try again. Try again. Try again. Wait, it might have worked. What if I spam it? Yeah, they've probably shut down the uh, service for it then, most likely anyways. Uh, I think I broke it. I possibly broke it? It's now big. Oh, there we go, it's back. Okay, cool. Look, I think you'll have to go through the system files to see if you can find it, but I, I don't think I can do terribly much with that, unfortunately. So yeah, that's that's it for theme manager then. Where were those Chinese applications that were on here? These ones. They're probably part of testing, actually. Yeah, okay, so they are repeatedly drive N223 3D stress test, automatic sleep, wake up, and automatic restart. So they would be part of the testing thing, which, once again, if I just tap everything, Okay, it's called a game of just press everything and hope it works. Oh, oh. Did I break it? Did I finally break it? Maybe. Uh, it's been a few minutes now. It's just stuck on this. Something. Boot logo. Boot animation. Hooray. We're back. I think. There is a possibility that going into that auto test menu and pressing everything has caused it to do something that I don't know what it's doing. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. I just seen a glitch. Oh, hello, we're back. Never mind, it's fine, it's good. So I'm gonna do the right thing and go straight back into auto test and open that up again. So the second one was power off, so the top one is the Antutu thing. Probably an error message then, most likely. Probably says you need to have Antutu installed for it to work or something. Oh, is it gonna work this time? Ah, uh, okay. Can I cancel power off? Nope, nope, that, that's a no. Let's do a conclusion on this thing then while it boots up. I paid $25 for this thing. It was not worth it, but it was worth it for a curiosity to see how this thing runs. It is the smallest tablet, let's just go along with calling it a tablet, that runs Android that I've ever tested before. It's more of a media player than a tablet. It shouldn't be called a tablet. It's more of a media player for kids that happens to run Android. That's what this thing is. It is a very cheap unit. The performance is terrible. The screen is terrible. The build quality is just all plastic, nothing too special. Outdated version of Android. The speaker's not too bad. That's one thing. Um, the camera is... You know, it'll do for something like this. Battery life is horrible. I would feel sorry for whoever kid got this 
and you know was told there you go here play on this thing so mum doesn't have to keep an eye on you when I go out into the shops and stuff and I see kids in a pram and stuff like that and the parents just off doing something else you know they're just on an iPhone 14 Pro Max just you know doing whatever so you know back in 2014 2015 giving this to your kid to stuff around with yeah I don't think they would have liked it I don't think this is a good family tablet this thing is fairly painful to use uh, as I said if you don't do anything and just power it up and stay on the home screen it's fine but trying to do anything else on it results in it just being a lag filled mess of just this thing the one thing I wish I could have done was do the whole theme thing. That's the one thing that I really would have loved to have seen on this, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. For you that's sitting here watching this video questioning why the hell am I stuffing around with something like this, have you ever used one of these before? Because it's painful. The Susan M5, while that was bad, the fact that it took me past an hour to just get to the Play Store to download an application to put onto this was painful enough. Let's tear it down before it starts doing more stuff. Off we go. There we go. I think my conclusion's pretty solid. I spared the pain of someone who was out at my flea market that's seen this and thought this would be cool for their kids because it says Marvel Avengers on it. This would be great for them. I spared them the pain. How does one take it apart? Is it just as easy as pop it open and that's it? Yep, it's about as easy as it gets. Okay. Oh, God. 1,200 milliamp hour battery in this thing. <laughs> That's pathetic. That's why it was dying so quickly. Uh, 2014 is the date. That's the speaker there. So a bit bigger than the usual welcome tier speakers that we see. The battery's not swollen, so it's just a shitty battery. Um, there's also this, which appears to be the thermal for the processor, which, there it is there. It's an, ah, oh, an Info TMIC, an IMAP X15. I have reviewed a tablet that used an Info TMIC. I just don't remember which one. I've looked at so many random devices that just, yeah. Also, hello, do you see that? There's a hole in the frame for a front camera. Have they put a sticker on there to hide that? No, okay, I thought it was. But there is a hole there for a front camera. It's just they chose not to have it in this unit. But the camera is there. It's a ZC something or other there. We've got a Samsung module just there, which says uh, 4G on it. So it's likely the four gigs of storage. I'm glad they put some uh, graphite in there. It's about as much as Samsung put in the S21 to cool that down. There is likely the RAM module just there. There we go. I'll have to Google this and see what that comes up with because I'm not terribly sure. Uh, the Wi-Fi is also just soldered there with an antenna going all the way along there. Just, whoosh. I have the guts. Is there anything on the back? 2013, that's when that's from. But there's literally nothing else going on with this thing. Flex ribbons are pretty big for a tiny little display like this. Perhaps this is actually for a bigger tablet and they've just minimized it down into this thing and called it a day. While I go ahead and power this thing on to see if it still works, I'll display all the specs to the side. So feel free to pause and take all of that in. I think it still works. Well, at least I know the processor in it. Why is it, it's faster now. Yeah, I reckon the motherboard is definitely from a bigger tablet and they've just repurposed it for this. There's some rabbit hole that is going on with this tablet thing media player, small tablet, mini tablet. Okay, touchscreen works. Speaker doesn't sound too happy. I'll just put that right there. Something like that. Perfect. It's like back together for the most part. Let me see if I can boot into recovery so I can factory reset this thing because it's just it no worky. I can't get into recovery. So I'm just going to leave it to the side and let it just reboot several hundred times. Well, that was taking a look at the Camellio by Vivitar Android family tablet thing. I usually have this tacky tablet score, but it's just completely wrong. So I'm going to just eliminate that from all tacky tablets videos from now on. The score doesn't matter. It's either tacky or it's not tacky. This is tacky for being tacky. I have no other reason to call it anything else, to be fairly honest. Um, it was painful to use. While not totally unusable, it's just definitely not meant 
<laughs> to be handed to a kid to play around with. If it's maybe just playing a video on the thing and nothing else, then okay. But a kid's likely to touch and press button and hope for colors and swirly patterns to happen. And I, I don't know, man, I don't know. What do kids do nowadays? If you fancy looking through the system files, feel free to check them in the description and see if you find anything more about this. I'll do some little research while I'm editing this video and let you all know if I find anything, but I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Tacky Tablets. Probably the most painful one yet, to be fairly honest. So thank you very much for watching through this video. I really do appreciate it, but if you had to use the timestamps to skip along past bits of this painful, not even a tablet thing, then that's absolutely fine. That's why the timestamps are there. And speaking of painful, the next video that I have for you all is looking at one of the most cheapest laptops you will ever find. I don't even think it's classified as a laptop, but I'll be checking that out in the next video. So once again, thank you all to those who have watched this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you got a kick out of seeing this and sitting back and going, oh God, how does he put up with these? I don't know either. I have a huge headache now at this point in time. This thing was just an absolute pain to, to get through, but oh God, it's done. All right, everyone. Well, please take care, stay safe, be good people, and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be this this cheapo laptop that I have to show you and my god it is something to behold. Do you want to see a preview of it? I think the tablet actually weighs more than this. Anywho, thanks again for watching and until the next one, please take care and I'll see you all soon. Oh, now I can die quietly. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.